Uh, hello again. So in this video, you will learn uh, how to apply uh, a modern algorithm for uh, a concurrent systems. Okay. So to do that, we will use uh, an example. So in our example, we have a concurrent uh, system. Okay. So in our system, we have three process executing in the same time and communicating between each other by a message okay so to the the, the modern algorithm strategy is to uh, is to assign each event by a vector okay so each event much assigned by a vector okay the vector so the, the the vector size must be equal to the number of process okay so uh, in our example we have three process so the vector must have must has uh, three terms okay so initially all of the uh, the vectors initialized by zero okay so that's it so the vectors the vectors hold the the, the global clock okay so we have three process so we have three terms okay the first term represents the the timing of the the first process and the second represents the timing of the second and the third term represents the timing of the third process okay so to set the the local timing on each process it's so simple okay so for example here we have in the process one we can just increment the local clock in each event okay so for example the time is initialized by zero okay so in the second uh, in the second in the next uh, event so we have zero so we must increment zero so zero plus zero equal one okay and here is two and in this event three so we must just increment the first term okay because we are in the first process okay so four and five okay in the next process so in the process two we must increment also the second term okay because we are in the process two okay so in this event so we have zero plus one equal one and here in this one plus one equal two and in this we have two plus one equal three and 3 plus 1 is equal 4 okay for this process so we are in the process 3 so we have here is 0 0 plus 1 is equal 1 and here 1 plus 1 is 2 2 plus 1 is 3 and 3 plus 1 is 4 and 4 plus 1 is equal 5 okay that's for the the local clock in each process so let's now dis distinguish between three type of events okay so first of all we have sending of message events okay for example in this event the event p12 is this event sent a message to the event 
E3, 4. Okay, so that's the sending of message. This also is the sending of message. This event also, and this event also. Okay, so the first is sending message event. Okay, so the second event is a local event okay for example this event is a local event okay and this is a local event okay so local event local event and we have the receiving of message okay for example this event is a receiving of message and this event and this and this are receiving of messages okay so receiving message okay so we are we have three type of events okay so now we are we are uh, we are used or we are use the local clock in each process okay so how can sets the the so the other clocks okay so for example in this in this vector we set the first because we are in the first process so how can uh, fulfill the other terms okay so in, in the case so if we have events is a sending message or a local event, in this case the vector, for example, this is a send event, okay? The vector, the other, uh, the other uh, terms is equal the precedent, the, is equal the terms in the precedent vector. For example, in this, this event, this is the send event so this term is equal the precedent so zero okay and this also equals zero okay uh, for example this is a send uh, event okay so this equal zero okay equal the precedent term so this equals zero so this is equal zero and this equal this is in the local event so zero zero okay so this is also zero zero okay so in this case that's a receiving message okay receiving of message so we must see a rules another rules okay so this is a sending message so zero zero uh, this is a local message a, a, a local event zero zero that's receiving of message so there is another rules okay so let's see the rule if we have a receiving of message events okay for example if we have a three process i uh, like our example okay so that's if we have a receiving message here okay so if if the, the the precedent event vector is for example one two and three and if the sender so a sends message for example if we are here i talk about this event and this event okay so if here the the vector is equal one one for example two uh, three two one okay so in this case so the local clock here is the second okay Bec is the second because we are in the second process so this must be already set okay that's equal three so the first term is equal the maximum between this term and this term so the max between three and one okay so three so because three is greater than one and here we have 
the maximum between 1 and the 3 so that's 3 okay so that's that is the rule if we have a receiving of message uh, event okay so let's let's use this rule okay so here we have that's the receiving of message we have this term is the maximum between one and zero so if that's one okay and this term is equal the max between zero and zero so that's zero okay so in this the first term is is, this is a receiving of message okay so the first term is the max between one and zero okay uh, so this equal one and this term is equal the max between zero and one so that's one okay so for for this for this vector we have this term is equal the the max between zero and zero so that's zero okay so this term is equal the max between zero and three so that's three okay so in this this is a receiving of message event okay so this term is equal the max between zero and zero okay so that's zero and this term is equal the max between zero and two so that's two okay so that's the sending of message so equal the precedent event okay so two equal two zero zero okay so for this event that's receiving of message event okay so this term is equal the max between two and one so that's two okay so this term is equal the max between five and one so five okay that's sending of message uh, so the, the other terms equal the terms of the precedence so we have two two and five uh, two four and five okay so for this this is a receiving of message okay so this So this term is equal to max between four and zero. Okay, so that's four, and this is equal the max between five and three. So that's five. Okay. So what's about the the precedency? Okay. So, if we have two events, E1 and E2, so E1 has this vector, for example, T1, term 1, term 2, and term 3, okay? So, as this example, we have three process, so the vectors must have only three vectors, okay? So, and another event too, has t1 term 1 and term 2 and term 3 okay if all the terms are equal so if the term 1 is equal the term in the what the first term in the neck in the in the event v2 and this equal this and this equal this so in this case we say that E1 is in parallel with E2, okay? So that's the first case, okay? So the second case, if we have one term of 
of this event is strictly greater than the the other uh, uh, the, the for for example in this case the first if the first term in this event is great, strictly greater than the first if uh, term in this event and we have another like that so this term is greater than this term and the other equal or like that or like that so in this case if we have if we have two event two terms so this is equal greater than this and this is is greater than this so in this case we can also say that e1 is on parallel with e2 okay so the, th the, th the third case if we have only if, if we have at least one term is strictly greater than the other term and the others may be equal or strictly greater than so, so the other is great or equal okay so in this case we say that e1 occurred uh, after e2 okay so in this case or in this case or in this case also okay so that's it for the presidency i hope that you that you understand the general idea in this video so i hope you like my video and see you later